They say the best things in life are free. And while that phrase instantly becomes redundant when you're saving up for whatever shiny material trinket you've seen and set your heart on this time, in the world of indie gaming at least, there is some truth to it. There are plenty of wonderful experiences waiting for you out there, even if your budget is literally zero. These are a few fantastic indies available for free. We'll leap right into it with a game that embodies the indie spirit, and that game is Frog Fractions. We don't blame you if it wasn't on your radar. It's a free flash game that runs entirely on your browser, and also it's called Frog Fractions, so you could be forgiven for not considering it a Dota beta. In truth, this is a secret absurdist masterpiece masquerading as one of those CD-ROMs you used to play in school that taught you stuff, except the only thing you're learning here is just how brilliantly absurd flash games can be. Things start off innocently enough with you shooting out your froggy tongue to snag butterflies and watch their nonsensical fractions appear. But when you start to get upgrades like a rideable dragon and a warp drive that takes you to Mars, soon your frog is sitting before an alien judge answering multi-choice questions on Martian history. You can plead guilty, not guilty or amphibian. It's amazing how much creativity there is in Twinbeard Studios' spoof of the edutainment genre and how little learning about fractions. On to character stuffed 2D beat-em-ups now, and Brawlhalla is fit to burst. You can play as a Doberman in shades, an alien with a pompadour, or even an orc with mutton chops. The fighting is tight and competitive across loads of colourful 2D levels, with the aim being to build up enough damage and smack them straight off the stage itself. Try throwing a bomb. Those normally do the trick. On to the brass tacks. You don't have to pay any money to play local offline matches, round-robin tournaments against AI bots, or even frantic four-way scraps with people online, making this another free indie smash. You might argue that Dreadnought's too big to be indie, but what you absolutely can't argue is that space combat is an absolute blast. And free. Rather than put you in a puny little dogfighting craft, here you play the commander of a hulking capital ship, and it makes the short online skirmishes feel extra tactical as you steer them to outflank opponents, divert power to guns or thrusters, and group up with teammates to deliver missile barrages. The only time Dreadnought asks you for money is when you want to put decals on your ship, or give your commander an awesome pair of shades. It's a bit like being the captain of a pirate ship, but like, in the sky. Everything you see and hear in arcade mashup Armagod came from the brain of a single indie developer, Natalie Lawhead. That includes a dinosaur builder in which you slap together your very own prehistoric Frankenstein from disembodied heads and limbs, a side-scrolling shooter where the enemy is rabbits, a clicker about tossing spam emails into a garbage disposal as they shout things like congratulation, and a game of noughts and crosses against a diabolical hamster. Oh, and if you want to exit the game and stop experiencing the contents of Lawhead's brain, you get a short infomercial from the Shut It Down Police. Downloading this cute mystery game from the Cyberpet Graveyard domain is a challenge in itself. There are numerous warnings not to, but fail to heed them and you'll unleash ten mischievous critters on your desktop. They howl and cackle, spit out notepad files with snippets of story on them, and in one monster's case, barf out his favourite desserts. There is a story here to piece together about bad experiments and trapped scientists, but we'll leave you to unravel it. In the meantime, we're just trying to round this lot up into the recycling bin. Probably our fault for opening them all at once. You probably didn't think you needed to play an interactive musical set entirely in Yorkshire, but you do. You definitely do. I Fair Lady is a fully voiced point and click taking place on mandatory singing day in an otherwise sleepy Yorkshire town. The story kicks off when you're fined by a squad of robot enforcers for using your natural speaking voice, and sees your character try to navigate their most dreaded day of the year. And if you're wondering what kind of form such a game might take, there's a sing-off with a thespian puppeteer who takes her job very seriously, and a puzzle about bypassing a mechanical bouncer by obtaining a suitably sparkly dress. Definitely the best interactive Yorkshire musical ever made. No! This is a game based on the instant messengers of the early noughties. It's a story told entirely in chat windows, starting from 2002 and spanning multiple years. You and Emily start as friends in high school, then share your experiences of college and so on. Throughout all, you can pick dialogue choices and set the tone of your relationship. 
Do you wish you kissed Emily under the stars that night, or would you rather stay friends? Are you a goodbye or a see ya kind of guy? There's a particularly cool touch in the way that you can pick a new cultural touchstone avatar each year, such as 2004 giving us Green Day's American Idiot and Mean Girls. What a year. Also, your Steam friends actually show up on your in-game friends list. You obviously can't chat with them though. Emily is Away is a human drama with no humans in sight. Imagine a more MMO-minded Minecraft, and that's basically what you're looking at with Trove. You start by picking a class like Candy Barbarian or Boomeranger, and then embark on an epic quest in a blocky world, fighting hostile threats with responsive combat, engaging in a spot of home improvement with the versatile building tools, and unlocking mounts so that you can ride around in style. As you can see, we've got quite a way to go to match the awesome rides of other people in the game. You can venture off from this hub to all the game's different connected worlds, including a dark fairy zone and the futuristic neon city. And what's great is that you can actually pack up and take any building you make along with you to all of those destinations. At first, this seems like the most basic of concepts. Click on the monster until it dies. That's literally it. Kill the weird stump thing, and the horrible possum, and that furry bee. But the idea starts growing. You collect the coins that spill out of the monsters and use them to upgrade your clicker hero. The more you click, the more coins pop out, and the more powerful your clicks become. Your foes level up along with you, so you'll have to choose when to spend your money on perks like an auto clicker that clicks automatically for 30 seconds. The real test comes against bosses, who give you a time limit in which to defeat them, so it's all about levelling up enough to take them on. But with meaty sound effects accompanying each thwack of an enemy, and the little jingle when you hoover up its currency, this addictive click em up rarely feels like a grind. In off-peak, you're stranded at a train station searching for the fragments of a ticket out of town. Might as well pop in the local museum and have a look in there, eh? Only this isn't any old museum. It's one giant surreal landscape filled with multiple nooks, numerous crannies, and no shortage of hidden passageways to discover. There are these giants nonchalantly playing a game of cards in what looks like a games room, only with 70% more Franz Kafka, and this guy and his pet cows. He looks important, so you better not mess with him. Not that you could. Off Peak is just about having a wander around and marvelling at all the outlandishness, like this guy with his pizza oven on wheels. A pizza oven on wheels. Now I've seen everything. There we have it. Loads of exciting indies, and we didn't have to spend a penny. If you are suddenly overcome by the desire to make some form of donation, though, you can always leave us a thumbs up to show us you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more like this and turn on notifications so you'll know when we post a new video. We'll catch you next time.